can't find your birth certificate. Need to replace your passport? Here's how, why you need it, to enroll in schools or the military, to obtain a passport, to get a driver's license or a marriage license if you don't have a passport, to apply for government and private benefits such as insurance and retirement benefits. You also need your child's birth certificate as proof of age to sign him or her up for elementary school or little league. To get a new one, don't call the hospital where the birth took place. Instead, start with the Vital Statistics Office in the birth state, says Sandra Smith of the National Center for Health Statistics. Go to cdc.gov, a website run by the NCHS, to get the phone number and address of your state's office. Or check the government pages of the phone book. What you need to get it, as many vital statistics name, gender, parents' names, place of birth, and birth date as possible. Some states also require a photo ID. Replacement fees range from $5 to $30, how long it takes, in-person requests could yield the certificate within minutes. By mail you can expect to wait about 4 weeks, or 2 weeks if you pay an additional fee for expedited service. Some states offer overnight service, too. There may be longer waits in late summer, when parents are requesting birth certificates for children starting school. Why you need it, to apply for a job or a driver's license, to register for college classes, possibly to apply for insurance or Medicaid. Usually your social security number alone will suffice these days, says Jane Zanka, a senior public affairs specialist at the Social Security Administration, but some places may still want to see the original card as assurance that the number is legitimate. Where, to get a new one, at your local social security office. Click on socialsecurity.gov to find locations, there are about 1,300 offices around the nation, you can also download the application form from the site. While you can mail in your request and supporting documents, Sanka warns against it, citing concerns about stolen mail and identity theft. What you need to get it, a completed one-page application, as well as one original identifying document, such as your driver's license, passport, or marriage or divorce record. If you were born outside the United States, you may need to show proof of citizenship or lawful alien status. Photocopies are not accepted. There is no charge for replacement cards. How long it takes, if you go to your local social security office in person, it could take as little as 5 minutes to process your request. Your card will be mailed to you within 2 weeks. If you can't wait for the replacement, the social security administration can give you a printout on its letterhead that verifies your number, says Zanka. Why you need it, to travel internationally, for identification purposes in place of a driver's license or a non-driver's photo ID, where, to get a new one, if your passport has been lost or stolen, you must appear in person at a passport processing facility to request a replacement. The U.S. Department of State's website, travel.state.gov, has a list of locations, plus forms and instructions, or call 877-487-2778. If your passport needs to be renewed, you can do so by mail. What you need to get is proof of U.S. citizenship, such as a birth certificate, proof of identity, two passport photos, and completed application forms. See the website for additional requirements for children under 14 and expedited requests. The fee for in-person renewals is $95 for a new book, or $70 for children under 16. Renewals by mail, adults only, cost $55, plus an execution fee of $25, how long it takes, about 4-6 to six weeks for regular service. 2 weeks for expedited service, which costs an additional $60, plus delivery. 
non-government expediting services, such as Passport Express, PassportExpress.com, and PassportsAndVisas.com. PassportsAndVisas.com are reliable and can get your replacement in one to three days, but they charge more than $199. Why you need it, for psychological validation, to prove to skeptical friends and relatives that you really did graduate. Particularly proud, or insecure, grads might even want two copies, one for home and one for the office. Where, to get a new one, your school's student services department. No one else can give you a real copy of your diploma. nor websites that claim they can get one for you there, diplomas, or just novelty items. You need to get it, a written, signed request, stating why you need a copy, accompanied by your vitals, most likely your signature, social security number, address, year of graduation, and degree, plus a check for the replacement fee, which varies by school, Arizona State University West charges $35, Harvard Business School, $115, how long it takes, it depends. Some universities process replacement diplomas only at certain times of year and good luck getting one in May, when schools are busy churning out diplomas for graduation ceremonies. If you avoid such peak times, your request could be processed in a day. Call your school to get an idea of its time frame. Why you need it to apply for graduate school are professional regulatory boards and to take certain graduate school admissions tests like the LSAT. Occasionally potential employers will request an academic transcript. Where, to get a new one, go through your college or university's student services department. Websites that claim to expedite the process can be unreliable or just plain fraudulent. What you need to get it, a transcript request form, check the school's website, or ask for one from your student services office or a written request that includes your social security number, year of graduation, degree, and address, plus a check to cover the fee, if any. Some schools require an applicant's actual signature, not a copy, in which case you'll have to make the request in person or by mail. How long it takes, 3 to 5 business days from the time the school receives your request, provided there's no hold on your account. You're in a rush, request FedEx service. But Veronica Primrose, a student services specialist at the University of Notre Dame, warns that if the request comes at a busy time, January and May are the worst, you may have to wait longer. Why you need it, you'll need these to secure a competitive rate on a loaner for any real estate transactions, says Zana Lim, a broker at the Barron Mortgage Group, in New York City. And your accountant will need them to prepare your taxes. We usually ask for the tax returns for at least one year prior, says Jackie Perlman of H. Where, to get a new one, start with your accountant or tax preparer, who usually keeps copies of your returns on file. You can also get copies of federal returns directly from the Internal Revenue Service. Visit irs.gov to download the required forms, or call 800-829-1040 to request them. What you need to get it, fill out and mail an IRS Form 4506. The cost is $39 for each return requested. How long it takes? It could take up to 60 days to get the returns, so plan ahead. It's the IRS. What did you expect? Why you need it? You need the deed to show evidence of ownership, says Michael Landsman, a real estate attorney at the New York City law firm of Home. This would be necessary if you're selling or refinancing your house or property, or transferring the title for estate planning purposes. Where, to get a new one, check with the lawyer who handled your closing. 
When your deed is recorded by the county, your copy is returned to either you or your attorney. If your attorney doesn't have the title, call the county clerk's office, where deeds are usually recorded. You could also hire a title company to do the search for you. Look in the yellow pages under Title Search, what you need to get is the street address of the property. You want better service, also provide the tax map ID number, says Jim McAvoy of the Land America Financial Group, in New York City. There is no fee if you request the title yourself, there may be a small charge for copying, title companies usually charge around $100 to do a search. How long it takes, the process takes about 10 business days in most cases, says McAvoy.